We're Sandman and Coco. We started our travel channel to share with our family and friends the adventures that they couldn't go on while stuck in during the pandemic. Now that most people have started to get out and about, we want to continue to share our adventures with you, but we want to share a little bit more about the purpose and the motivations that cause us to travel to the places that we travel while we share. This next story is a little different. It's the story of a miracle that almost never happened. It's a part of our lives that we have already celebrated. Things have already gone by and they're kind of faded away in our minds. But when you look back at them, you realize just how much of a miracle it is that you even exist. This is a picture of my youngest daughter. This is a picture that couldn't tell you the full story. It couldn't tell you how she was born too early before her lungs could even support her life, before she could even maintain her own body heat, that she would be 1.6 ounces at birth. Needless to say, God had a plan to deal with all of that. 2020, her senior year, the trip that we're taking now was supposed to take place, but we all know what happened instead. Fast forward one year, here we are in a beautiful place with a beautiful person. We're getting ready to travel, but I need to get a test for COVID just as a precaution. Um, so we're doing that today because we leave on Monday. And uh, since where we're traveling requires you to have a test in 72 hours before you fly. So everything pretty much had to be done today. Massage mm -hmm. Wait, what kind of massage you got going there? You got to change the Oh. So I can press the button here and I can change the massage. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got my hands done. It's my first time ever. Huh? Look at that. So we're gonna get my eyes checked because well, I can't really see anything. And since we got a big trip coming up, you want to kind of see. This is also a special trip because my eye doctor, I haven't seen him for a long time, but I used to coach him when he was a little, little kid. And he was actually a really good pitcher. So I'm looking forward to meeting and seeing him again. So blue first, then green, hold still, open eye, and then I'll take the picture. Okay. Try it. Okay, come all the way up yeah. against it. All right, you ready for this? <laughs> okay, which eye first? Either eye? one. Either yeah. I want to do my right eye first. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, wait. I see blue. You see blue. I see blue. That's perfect. Can I get a good eye? Yeah. Is that my best eye? That's the best eye. Switch over to your other. Okay, this eye might be a better. All right, so what do you think? Should I get contacts that have like cat eyes or something? <laughs> Robert, my oldest, played ball with him back in the day. And I want to tell you, he's one hell of a pitcher. Now, I don't know if he can still do it. <laughs> but he was really good. I don't think. Okay, so we're at the airport. It is probably 4 a.m. Ridiculously early, but got to catch a flight that goes out at 8 a.m. They said be here three or so hours before. So here we are in Atlanta. Typically it's a little cheaper to fly to Atlanta from Birmingham to catch these flights. So that's what we do. Sorry about all the noise. We got all these luggage here. But uh, yeah, 
We are headed towards the terminal. See if we can get all checked in. Hopefully we don't run into any issues. Maybe grab a bite to eat and get going. Kelsey had something that was not allowed through, so she had to go back over there and throw a few things in the trash can, apparently. But I think she got it all straightened out. She looks, she looks a little stressed. My <laughs> So we are super early still. We got quite a ways to go before our flight gets here. Almost two hours, as a matter of fact. So now yeah, we'll be sitting here for a minute, enjoying the sunrise, I guess. Earlier we had an issue with some contraband items. Maybe you could just explain a little bit about that. What was the story here? Sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> like how many ounces? Close to like 150 ounces? What, what was the? 5.0. <laughs> I think the limit is like what? Six maybe? Three. Like three? Okay, you had like a gallon or two. So yeah, that's pretty bad. And it was SPF 100. This is the good stuff. This was the good stuff. And it is now in the trash can in the Atlanta airport. So if you happen to come across a container overflowing with um, sunscreen. sunscreen, then Chelsea can be, you know, directly attributed to that event. And there was also uh, overweight luggage, maybe, maybe what about six or seven pounds worth of what was what was the deal no, here? No, it wasn't. <laughs> I was one pound over. You were okay, four so, pounds over. You know, that's like pounds. that's yes. like an extra hundred dollars. So just you know, pay the money. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's easy to say. Very easy to say. Now I do want to also point out the amount of luggage that's here. Let me just show you. This is my entire amount of luggage for two weeks. Um, this is it. I didn't even have to check anything. I just I'm just I just packed that efficiently. Now on the other hand. These two <laughs> almost we almost had to rent a second car. I mean, I'm not, this is ridiculous. This is what we're dealing with here. You'll be all right. <laughs> oh, there's the key. Oh, there's another thing. She keeps losing this key. Okay, let me just show us the key. Show everybody the key first of all. This is the key that had us standing at the luggage check-in for like 20 minutes because she couldn't find it. Now luckily I remembered I had an extra key, but um, that key, and if you notice, she just picked it up off the ground. So this is obviously going to be a thing to focus on through this entire video. So just be watching for the key. If you just happen to see a key laying around, it's probably hers. So just grab it and hit us up on a DM and we'll get that you know, from you. Could you, could you tell us how many pounds of books did you bring? I mean, there's, I stopped, I lost count at eight. Maybe just, I brought maybe five. You could, maybe you could just show us the top I layer. I got five. Just the top layer. It's okay. Whoa, and it's all okay. Carnation, Alabama, Betty Crocker, Michigan, Betty White. Somebody brought this. books. Holy. As if Some of us. they're going to read all those books. I mean, even if you were like Rain Man, you know, or something, you, you couldn't go through those books at that pace, but she has six to seven books that are close to 1,200 pages each. I'm halfway through one of them. I just don't know about this. This is what happens. This is what causes the extra weight, right? The extra weight and the extra stress on a trip now this is supposed to be a vacation so okay, i'm not gonna pay you know what? What? we're gonna take this camera yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm committed to go shoeless pretty much the no, sir. I mean, um, no, sir. sandals no, sir. or less the entire no, trip now we just got petty and manny's now it doesn't really look like it because they're a little oh, dusty that is a no, little dusty, but that's just because we had to get up so early. And now if I had to take in maybe half a gallon of that uh, sunscreen. sunscreen and put it on there, we'd probably be okay, but we didn't get a chance to do that. So just going to work it out. But uh, this, is be, this will be the look the entire trip, pretty much. I don't really ever plan on putting shoes on. I mean, they don't even use doors in Hawaii. I mean, so why should you use shoes, right? Do y'all like to be on YouTube? They don't travel with us, but they don't like they don't travel with us either. Yeah. Yeah. So this is actually uh, a trip that we postponed. It was supposed to happen in 2020. Of course, we all know what happened then. But this is actually her graduation trip. 
And uh, um, unfortunately, you know, that graduating class kind of got gypped out of everything. They did. But uh, we have decided to go ahead now that it's post-pandemic-ish and uh, give it a shot. We feel like we got a pretty good chance this time. We are in the airport, so if we don't make it, we made it now, that's, that's, yeah, that's the main thing. It's because of the books. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we made it on the plane. Just about to get ready to depart. Temperature of 71 degrees. That's a reminder that even though the CDC has issued new guidelines for fully vaccinated individuals, federal law still requires each person age two and older to wear a mask. All right, so they just went through the safety checks and everything looks good. We're finally about to get in the air. Uh, they actually made it on time, so I'm pretty impressed. All right, just completed the first leg of our flight. Now we gotta jump on another plane in about 30 minutes that goes from Charlotte to our final destination. Okay. All right, so now we got the next challenge, which is the Catch Track Connecting Flight. But before we do that, we gotta try to find a Chick-fil-A, which might not be possible. We don't know because where we're going, they don't have those. Okay, good news, we found the Chick-fil-A. Bad news, the line is like six miles long. So this is gonna be a challenge. Yeah, unfortunately the line is too long. So there is absolutely no way we're gonna be able to get a Chick-fil-A. So it's the last chance for two weeks. Sorry, that's the best we could do. All right, we got about we got about nine hours for our next leg here. So probably a few movies. So we made it. Uh, we're gonna grab a bite to eat and try not to crash immediately, but it's a big time difference. Um, so uh, here it's about six o'clock. Back home it's about it'd be about twelve o'clock. So yeah, so we gotta try to adjust to the time. So we're gonna grab a bite to eat, try not to crash, maybe hang out just a little bit, and then pick it up in the morning. We might be locked out, so we don't have to check this out when we get back. <laughs> So after we eat it, we can't home. get in. <laughs> Whose fault is it if we locked out? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Coco. Oh. Yeah. Right. He got to come in a little oh, bit. Yeah. Alright. So I forgot I'm not in the South anymore. You can't really just order sweet tea like that. So I got to get used to this, y'all. This might be a struggle. All we gotta do is grind. Now they on the own. All they gotta do is shine. Some more than 30 years. Now I'm people crying. Are we on the road? It's just me and mine. 